Star Trek, the original series, Space Seed, Bridge, Spillelli. Coming on it fast, sir. Kirk, are you certain of your sense of readings? Spock, definitely a space vessel of some type. Kirk, origin? Spock, unknown. It could hardly be an Earthship. There have been no light flights into the sector for years. I'm picking up a signal, sir. A series of beeps comes out over the speakers. Captain, that's the almost cold sig- signal. Kirk, thank you. Aurora, seize Q, C crew. Kirk, we're reading it, Lieutenant. I thought you said it couldn't possibly be an Earth vessel. Vessel. Spot, I failed to understand why it always gives you pleasure to see my proven wrong. Kirk, an emotional earth weakness of mine. There it is. The ship appears on the view screen. Kirk, an old earth vessel similar to the DY-500 class. Spock, much older. DY-100 class to be exact, Captain. The last such vessel was built centuries ago, back in the 1990s. Kirk, then it's a derelict. It's a signal left on automatic. Spock, or an old earth ship being used by aliens. Kirk, weapon status, weapons, deflector, shields on maximum. Phases man, sir. Kirk, bioscanners report. McCoy, life science scanners, picking up heartbeats from over there. Can't be human, though. They're too faint, and they average only four beats per minute. Spock, sensor reading, Captain. Some sort of equipment is functioning on that vessel. Kirk, all decks to the go with four alerts. Anyway, it comes alongside a small vessel, which is still as big as the engineering hull. Captain's log, stardate 31441.9. Four hours has elapsed since interception. A strange vessel, our present alongside, is still being completely ignored. Though our sensors continue to show size equipment life aboard, there has been no indication of, of danger to us. Bridge. Kirk, weapons department to maintain barrel stations. All other decks stay in my alert. Euro. All decks are non sir. McCoy, we continue to pick up some sort of form of heart action over there. Very faint, very slow. Seems to be coming from the 60. I see any bullies as near as I can tell. Kirk, any bullies bones? McCoy could be. There's no sunny breathing or other form of respiration. Look. Whole surface is pitted with meteor scars. However, scanners make out a name. SS Bottomy Bay. Kirk. Then you can check the registry. Spot. No such vessel listed. Records on the period of fragmentary. However, the mid 90s, 90s was the era of our last so called World War. McCoy, the Ephigenic War. Spot. Of course, you would, you would attempt to improve the race. Through selective breeding, McCoy. Now, wait a minute. Not our attempt, Mr. Spock. A group of ambitious scientists. I'm sure you know the type. Devoted to logic. Completely unemotional. Kirk, all right. All right, gentlemen. As you were. Rig for t- trans- tractor beam. Helm, lock into that vessel. Spell any. R- r- rigging for tractor beam, sir. Kirk, the bridge is yours, Mr. Spock. Can you join the landing party, Doctor? Okay, well, if you're actually giving me a choice, Kirk, I'm not. I need somebody familiar with the late 20th century Earth. The chance that the, for the historian to do something for a change. What's the name? McGeevers. Buck. Lieutenant McGeevers. McGeevers. McGeevers quarters. Mc, Lieutenant McGeevers is just about to settle down for some painting when. Buck. Attention. The following personnel report to transport room. Engineering officer Scott. Lieutenant McGeevers. A luggage, Berlina. McGivers, on my way. Transport room. Spot, Scott. Well, it looks like the ship was expecting us. We read heat coming on. Complete oxygen atmosphere. Kurt, very interesting. Very, you really bones? Dr. McCoy, no. A signal board aboard this ship to practice me. This, a sign aboard this ship to practice men. Not to have my items scattered back and forth across space. But it's gadget. Kirk, you may an old fashioned boy, McCoy. What's, where is this story? McGivers enters. Come on, Lieutenant. Melina. McGivers, sir. Uh, Kirk, Enterprise, Energize. SS Pondomy Bay. 
Men and women lying in clear, sunny compartments. Seemingly asleep, Kirk Scotty. It's got definitely earth type mechanism, sir. 20th century vessel. Old type atomic power. Bulky, solid. I think they used to call them transistor units. I'd love to tear this paper apart. Well, then, our captain. Captain, it's a sleeper ship. Kirk, suspended emanation. Marina, I've seen old photographs of this. The city, because of the time involved. The space shuttle until the year, about the year 2018. It looked, took years just to travel from one planet to another, Kirk. It's possible they're still alive or centuries of travel. McCoy, it's theoretically possible. I never heard of it being tested for this long. A period, Melena. What a handsome young group of people. Paul. McCoy, Jim. I have an ingredient. The lights must have been triggered. A trigger some mechanism. Melena, a captain. Captain, look here. They go to the compartment looking, holding a dark haired man. Scott, Scotty? Scott, beats me. What's happening? McCoy, we trigger something, all right. His heart's beating increasingly. They are passing eight beats per minute. There are some signs of respiration beginning, Spock. Scott, this is one that's probably programmed by the trigger, by, to be triggered first, Kirk. Can you be the leader? The leader? Lieutenant? Elena. Dragging herself back from them, just gazing at the man. Yes, sir. Lena is just set to revive first. Then this would allow him to decide whether the conditions warranted revival. The others, McCoy. Heartbeat over, now approaching 40 per minute. The respiration period, pattern is firming up, McMaina. From the northern Indian area, I guess, probably a sink. sink. They are the most fantastic warriors. McCoy, heartbeat low. 52 and increasing. Kirk, the others, cot. They know the change. They're, mi- they're mixed types. Western and the U- mid European Latin Oriental. Melina, man from 20th century coming alive. McCoy, maybe heartbeats dropping. Kirk, circuit circuitry. Kirk, swap. Probably some dust. McCoy, heartbeat now. 30 blooming bl- 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 fast. Is her heart flutter? He's dying. Melina, do something, Captain Kirk. We can we, Scott? I'd take an hour to figure it out, Kirk. What happens if he gets out of here, McCoy? If it dies in seconds, if we don't, Kirk uses some, something metal in his hand to break the glass and open the compartment. The man slid up of a trolley, really British, being awake. He tries to speak. Can how long, Kirk? How long have you been sleeping? Two centuries, we estimate. Then he probably took Kirk McEnterprise. Come in. There we are. Go ahead. We're only boarding party. We need to read you. Kirk, look, look on the going in his beam. He turns me back with a casualty we discovered here. Melina Magnificent. Captain's log supplemental. It's alongside the SS Bottom Bay for ten hours now. A boarding party is engineering a medical specialist and now completing their examination of a mysterious vessel. Attempts to revive other sleepers wait for success or failure with the casualty already beamed up. Dr. McCoy is frankly amazed at his physical and reprocative power. Bridge, Kirk. Boarding to boarding party, Scott. Scott here. Kirk, Scotty, any records? Log? Books of any kind, that says what we may. Scott, negative. Captain, Pierre is suspended in emanation when the ship took off. Kirk, how many are alive? Scott, 20 units have moved out and leaving 72 still operating. 30 of those are women. Kirk, Kirk out. 22 alive, a group of women dating back to the 1900s. 90s are discovering some importance, Mr. Spock. Uh, there are a great many unanswered questions about those years. Spock, a strange violent period of in our history. I have no record whatsoever, SS Botany Bay, Captain. The AIY DY 100 class vessel was only for any travel only. The simple nuclear d- d- powered engines. Star travel was considerable d- impractical at, our, at, that, at the time. It was 10,000 to 1 against their making it to another new galaxy. And why not? And, and why? No, a boy, no record of trip, Kirk. Bonnie Bay, that was the name of Queen of the shores of Af- Amer- Australia, was it? They took that name for the vessel. Bog, are you suggesting this is a penal deportation vessel? You arrived at a, a, a totally illogical conclusion, Kirk, huh? 
But your earth was a verge of dark ages. My own population has been bombed. Resistance, a group of criminals could have dealt with far more effectively than we used in one of the most advanced spaceships. Kurt, yes. So much for my three. I'm still waiting to hear yours. But even the theory requires some facts, Captain. So far, I have none, Kirk. No irritation, you, Mr. Spock. Spock, irritation? Kirk, yeah. Spock, I'm not capable of that emotion. Kirk, my apologies, Mr. Spock. You suspect some danger in them? Spock, information facts. Always invite danger, Captain. Kirk, well, we better get some facts. Break for towing. Bit early. I like, sir. Kirk, make course for, for Starbase 12, Scott. Spock, I, sir. Tick Bay Wood, a good word. A Khan's website. McCoy to nurse. That'll be all she leave, but McCoy, Kirk Bones? McCoy, he's alive. Kirk, my compliments. McCoy, no, I'm good, but not that good. It's so inside this man that refuses to accept death. Look at that. He is, he is now. His heart valve action has twice the power of yours and mine. The efficiency is 50% better. The grave as enters Kirk. Approved beat of human? That's what the epidemics war was all about. McCoy estimates he could lift both of us both with one arm. Be interested to see his brain matches his body. Mariana, a doctor, will he be lie? Will he live? McCoy, it appears he will. Lieutenant leaves. Kirk, I would like to talk to you. They go out to the main area where McCoy is at the desk. Kirk, if you were there, if there were to rate your performance as a member of the landing party today, I, well, yeah, I know, sir, I'm sorry. Kirk, Lieutenant, at one, at one time, the safety of this entire vessel may depend upon the performance of a single crewman. The fact that you find a man strangely compelling to your personality. Marina, not pers- prof- personally, Captain, professionally. My profession is a historian. Now, if I find special for the last alive, I am in sheer delight of examining his mind, Kirk. And men are, not, are more of interest then. Bolder and more colourful, Marina. Yes, sir. I think they, they were, Kirk. Good. If I can have honesty, it's easier to overlook mistakes. That's all. With yeah, this, sir, she leaves McCoy. A pity you wasted your life on commands, Jim. You, may, you, you have made a fair psychologist. Kirk Fair leaves in the ward. Kirk uh, Khan wakes, gets out of bed and gets some, does some stretches. Hear McCoy's voice. McCoy, stick to the lab. Anything new on those bios? Lab tech. It all came out fine, Doctor. McCoy, good. McCoy out. Khan sees us playing old medical instruments. Raw takes a scalpel. Is back in bed when McCoy walks in to check on him. As the good to the looms over, Khan grabs him by the throat and forms a blade to his neck. McCoy, well, either choke me or cut my throat. Mind your ma- make up your mind, Kurt Khan. English, I thought I dreamed hearing. Where am I? McCoy, you're in a... Squeeze, squeeze makes him know his voice. You're really holding his knife at your doctor's throat. Can't explain, answer my question, McCoy. It would be most effective if you'd cut the girl over at Audrey. Just on the left ear. McCann releases him. Khan, I like a brain man, McCoy. I was simply trying to avoid the argument. Takes the scalpel. You, you are bored, you bored the United Starship Enterprise. Your vessel is in tow. Khan. I remember a voice. Did I hear it say, I've been sleeping two centuries? McCoy, that is correct. Khan, where is the captain? I have quite many questions. McCoy goes to the intercom. Kirk Bridge, McCoy. A patient here with many questions, Captain. Kirk, on my way. A little later, the Khan is sitting up more. Khan, James Kirk, commanding the Starship Enterprise. Khan, I see Kirk. And your name? Khan, I have a few questions first. What are you, where, what is it you're heading? Kirk. Um, our heading is Starbase 12, a planet of Gunner 400 star system. Our command base is in this sector. Is that what any use to you? 
Khan and my people. Kirk, Kirk, 72 of your life support cancers are still functioning. Kirk, you will relieve them. Khan, you will leave them. Kirk, as soon as we reach Jai by 12, Kirk, Khan, I see. Kirk, and now Khan's name, that's my name. Kirk, what? Khan, nothing else? Khan, calm. Kirk, what was the exact date of your lift, of your lift off? We well, know it was something in the early 90s, but, 1990s. Can I find myself going growing fractured fatigue, Doctor? May we continue this question of some other time? Kurt, the facts I need, Mr. Khan, will take the very little time, for example, the nature of your expedition. Look at me, Jim, a little more later will make me appropriate better. Um, Captain, I wonder if I could have something to read. During my covalences, I'm, I'm once an engineer of sorts. I must be, must, I would be most interested in studying the technical manuals or manuals of your vessel. Kurt, you are, yes, I understand. You have 200 years of catching up to them. Come precisely, Kirk. You are available for any patient on the viewing screen. The client will show you how to tie in the, into the technology tapes. Khan, thank you, Captain. You're a very cooperative bridge. This is Khan is not what I expect of a 12th century man. Kirk, I know you're making considerable use of our... Khan, I'm feel, I find myself a little bit fatigued, Doctor. Maybe we continue this question at some other time, Kirk. The facts I need, Mr. Khan, will take very little time, for example. The nature of the expedition, Jim, a little later might be better. Khan, Captain, I wonder if I could have something to read during my convalescence. I was some out engineering sorts. I would be most interested in studying the technical manuals of your ship vessel. Khan, yes, I understand. You have 200 years to catch up to them. Khan, precisely. Kirk, you're available to any patient on the viewing screen. McCoy, McCoy. Show you how, we'll show you how to tie into the library tapes. Kirk, thank you, Captain. You're a very cooperative bridge, Kirk. That is, that is calm, is not what I expected of a 20th century man, Luxbach. I think you have making considerable use of a technical library. Kirk, come on, courtesy, Mrs. Spock. You spend the rest of your day our time is our only descent to, to help him catch up. Would you ask me him to, to be the project, project selected bring Spock? There, there is that possibility, Captain. You know, his age would be correct. An unusual group of these three young supermen did seize power simultaneously in front of 40 nations. Cut. Well, they're holy supermen. They have aggressive arrogant. They begin to battle them themselves out. Spock, because the scientists overlook one fact, superiority, ability, be superior ambition. Kirk, interesting, it's true. They created a group of Alexander and Napoleon, Spock. I have understand some, na- some names and made these cards. Where is that house? Kirk, Kirk, the facts I need, Mr. Khan, would be take little very time, for example, the nature of your expedition, McCoy. Jim, a little later might be better, calm. Captain, I wonder if I know something to read during my convalescence. I want some new assaults, I must be, I, must, I would be in message in studying the technical manuals on your vessel. Kirk, yes, I understand. You have 200 years of catching up to do. Kirk, calm, precisely. Kirk, are you available to your any patient in viewing the viewing screen. McCoy will show you how to tie into the local library tapes. Okay, thank you, Captain. You're a very cooperative bridge. Kirk, this car is not what I expect of a 12, 20th century man. Kirk, I note he's making responsible use of our library, technical library. Kirk, could come and courtesy, Mr. Spock. He spend the rest of his days in our time, so I only just decent to help him catch up. Will you listen to him? To be product of selective breeding, Spock. 
There is that possibility, Captain. His age would be correct. In 1993, a group of these young supermen did some power simultaneously. In over 14 mutations, Kirk, where only a boat of their hardly supermen, aggressive, angry, and arrogant, they began to battle among themselves. But because the scientists overlooked the one fact, superiority, ability, pre superior ambition, Kirk, interesting, it's true, they created a group of Alexanders, Napoleons, but our collectives and names have made them some counts. By the instrument, there were some 80 or 90 of these young supermen and Canfield when they were finally defeated. Kirk, the fact isn't, isn't that in the history books, that fact isn't in the history books. Book, would you go to World War Proliferation that some 80 Napoleons might still be alive? Sit by medical ward, Khan is lounging, showing off his chest and calves. Malena, the ship's historian, lieutenant. Khan, Malena, McGivers? Malena, yes, Khan. I am told you persisted in my rebirth. Malena, I am in a small way, Khan. Are you reading up on starships? They have been, have one luxury not to mention in the manuals. Malena, I don't understand. Khan, a beautiful woman. My name is Khan. Please sit and entertain me. She perches on another bed. Malena, I like some, st- I, uh, I like some historical information about your ship and p- p- its purpose. Khan, and why do you wear your hair in such an uncomfortable fashion? My name is comfortable, Khan, but it's not very attractive. He takes her to the mirror and loses a couple of strands on her back. There, yeah, soft, natural, simple. My name is Mr. Khan. I'm here on business. Khan, you find a pleasure here? Melina, my interest is scientific. Men of this is this is the world of the past. I'm sure you understand that to actually talk to a man in a century calm. There, simply soft. Please remember, Melina, perhaps some other time when you feel more more like talking about the past, calm. I'm oh, glad you came. Please do it again. Officer Mess, the dining room table is laid out. The senior staff are dressed in uniform. McCoy, very impressive. Respecting the fleet, and we're all for dinner. Kirk, out of return, McGavers. I did a welcome Khan to our sentry. Just how strongly is she attracted to him? McCoy, well, isn't it? Isn't any regulations against her against him? Kirk, my cross is official. Not personal bones. McCoy, well, he is a mechanism. Almost electric, you felt it. He could never, he could overpower McGavers. Davis with a preoccupation with preoccupation with the past. My givers givers quarters a crewman woman shows Khan in. Khan, thank you. I hoped you might guide me to our dinner arrangement. See the picture of the wall. Very good. Fine technique. Mena is a delicate and flavorous he wants. Khan and you arrange your head for me. Excellent. Khan All men from the past they let to the Eric Levy. Defeat she, a pony and a hobby, you're to such men. He uncovers a work of progress, a man in turban. Man, I am a Khan, I am honored, thinking, but of course you Such men dare take what they want. He kisses her and she responds. Officers of the mess. After dinner, uh, uh, the crew is being served. Kurt, forgive my courtesy, Mr. Calm. Well, my officers are anxious to know more about your extraordinary journey. Spock, how do you manage to keep it out of the history books? Khan, adventure, Captain, adventure. Was there all left on Earth? Spock, there was, um, well, there was war to end tyranny. Money considered that a noble effort. Khan, tyranny, sir? An attempt to unify, unify humanity. Spock, unify it? So, you say, sir? Like a team of animals, under one whip. Can I know something of these, those years, remember? A time of great dreams, of great inspiration. Buck, under dozens of pretty dictatorships. Can one man would have, have ruled eventually. A Rome under Caesar, think of it, accomplishments. Doc, then you have your sim- then your sympathies are were well with Khan. You are then your sympathies were well with Khan. You are an excellent technician, Captain. You let your second command attack while you sit and watch for weakness, Kirk. You tend to express ideas for the military terms, Mister Khan. This is a social occasion, Khan. 
It is said for social, that social occasions are only worth all of concealed. Maybe for it to uh, be more honest, more open. Kirk, you fled? Why? Were you afraid? Khan, I've never been afraid, Kirk. But you, le- but you left at the very time mankind needs courage. You could Khan. You offered the world order. Kirk, we? Khan, excellent, excellent. Excuse me, gentlemen and ladies. I grow fatigued again with your permission, Captain. I return to my quarters. Kirk stands and Kirk Khan leaves. Khan's quarters. Khan is pacing with Melena enters. Melena, I wanted to apologize. That was no there was no right to they had no right to treat you that way. Khan quite understandable, since I am something of a mystery to them. Melena. You know this is me, I know exactly who you are. Khan, do you? Melina, Lef Eckerson, Erickson, the Richard Lionheart, Napoleon. I don't I don't know if you're going to like living in our time. Khan, I have to remold it to my liking, the brain bases her. Melina, please don't. Pushes him away her way. Khan, go or stay. But it, 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 do it because it is what you wish to do, well. But then I stay a little longer. Khan, how many minutes do you graciously offer? But then I only meant, Khan, this grows tiresome. You must now ask to stay. But then I'd like to stay, please. She takes it, he takes her hand and then forces her down onto her knees. Khan, open your heart. You open your heart to me, yes. Khan, I intend to take the ship. Do you agree? But then, oh, please don't ask me. Khan, I need your help. But then I won't harm anyone. Khan, now, now you question me. Melena, no. Khan, will you assist me? Melena, oh, please, Khan, please don't ask me. Khan, please, leave me then. Go, I say. Melena, no, I promise. I do anything you ask. Be familiar. The last picture of their guest is on the screen, Kirk. Name Khan, as we know him today. Spock changes the picture. Name Khan Nudarin Singh. Spock. From 1982 from 1936. Absolute ruler and more than a quarter of our world. But he should through the Middle East. McCoy, the last of the tyrants to be overthrown. Scott, I must confess, gentlemen, I always held a sneaking admiration for this one. Kirk, he was the best of the tyrants and the most dangerous. They were similar in a sense, stronger, braver, certainly more ambitious, more daring. Spock, gentlemen, this racism by the ruthless dictator is, Kirk, Mr. Spock, we humans have a streak of barbarism in us. Appalling, but they're, re- but they're nevertheless. Sp- got. There are no massacres under his rule, Spock, and there's, and there's little freedom, McCoy. There was two he was attacked, Spock, gentlemen. Kirk, Mr. Spock, you misunderstand us. We can be against him and admire him all at the same time. Kirk, Spock, the logical. Kirk, totally. This is the captain. Put a 24 security on Mr. Khan's quarters. Effectively, immediately. Khan's quarters. Khan is seated at a plain table dressed as a red, a red Enterprise uniform shirt when Kirk bursts in and sits opposite him. Khan, I'm sorry, Captain. I was just informed my door locked from outside. A guard posted. Kirk, unusual treatment for Khan, Nurulin Singh. Khan, excellent. You android me with your computer system, I imagine. Kirk, I'd like to up uh, these answers, th- 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 those answers now. First, the purpose of your star flight. Khan, a new life, a chance to build a new world. Other things I doubt you would understand. Khan, why? Because I'm not a product of your controlled genetics. Khan, Captain, although our abilities intrigue me, your abilities intrigue me, you're quite honestly inferior. Med- med- mentally, physically, in fact, I'm surprised how little improvement there has been in human evolution. I've been tactical advancement, but now little man himself 
has changed. Yes, it appears. We do well in your century, Captain. Do you have any uh, other questions? Kurt, thank you. They've been answered. He leaves and door, resumes his post. God resumes his post. Calm, some his strength, wrenches the knock door open and knocks out his guard with a single blow to his water room. Melina is holding a phaser on the transporter chief. Melina, move away. Khan comes in and incapacitates him with pressure. A base of skull. She beams him to Botany Bay. SS Botany Bay. Freshly rides to the van and woman of stretching the weapons where Khan meets them. Khan Otto, Jackie Yorn. The trip is over. The battle begins again. At this time, it's not a world we win. It's in uniforms, Katie. Bridge, Begini. Begini. Of course, sir. Factor two. Kurt Matane. He answers the integral. Bridge. Security. Captain. Security here. Khan's escaped. Kirk. Sound security alert. You're a security alert, Captain. Can you mention ca- channels are down, Captain? Kurt lifts turns to the lift, but the doors do not open. Spot. Turbo and load of agents in operator with. Jammed, Captain. Kurt rushes to panel with a far bulkhead. Pushes buttons. Kirk, atmospheric controls cut off. Block the Aesis. They have over, they, they are on override in engineering. Kirk, engineering, Scotty. This is bridge. This is the bridge. Engineering, Scott, captain. He gets knocked out. Kirk, bridge. Kirk, what's going on down there? Engineering, Khan. He's not, not able to answer you at the moment, captain. Bridge, Khan. Uh, your ship is mine. I've shut off your life support system to your bridge and jammed up your for exit routes. I'm willing to negotiate Kirk. Flood all decks with neutral gas. To block the impossible. Intruder control systems are inoperative. Mr. Khan is very thorough with his study of our tech manuals. Khan, in contact, Starbase 12. Your all channels are totally jammed, Captain. Kirk, spot brilliant. Every consistency epicitated. Khan, your air should be getting quite thin by now. Engineering. Do you surrender bridge? Khan, do you surrender the bridge? Bridge. Kirk, negative. Engineering. Khan, academic. Captain, refuse. Bridge. Khan, and every person on the bridge will suffocate. A little later, if someone else, some conscious Kirk, makes his last log entry. Start eight three one four two point eight. They have my ship, discarding their own worthless vessel. Only moments of air left on the bridge now. Accommodations are recommended for Lieutenant Ayura, Technicians First Class Tulum Harrison, Lieutenant Smolini, of course, Mr. Spock. I take responsibility. I take four he passes out briefing room. Senior staff awake again, listening to speech at gunpoint. Come, nothing ever changes that man. Your technical accomplishments are proven. Medical, mechanical device. You made double productivity. But improved man, you gain a thousand fold. I have such a man. Join me. I treat you well. I need you, your training to operate your vessel. This complex, Scott. Where is the Captain Kirk? Clown. I see him now. I make one serious error. You are a communications officer. Engage the viewing screen, please. Your doesn't move, so Jekyll drags her to the table. It hits her. He raises his hand again. Marlena intervenes. Marlena, no. Clown, I should have realised that, that suffocating together a bridge would create heroic camaraderie among you. It's quite a different thing to watch it happening to someone else. Engage the viewing screen. I'm sure you recognise the medical decompression. So, Chamber here, Doctor. A meaning of that indicator is dropping up to 10 HG. The captain would die. If you join me, Mr. Spock, I say, I save his life. My vessel was useless. I need you and yours to select a colony planet. One well, with population willing to be led by us. A colony to be conquered by you. A starship would make that most simple. Make, would make that most simple, wouldn't it? Khan, each one of you in turn will go there. Die while you want others watch. Can't relate to Khan. There's no reason I must watch this, is there? Khan shakes his head, but I hope you will make, will be, you'll be stronger. Please, if only one of you joins me. If only anyone of you joins me, anyone, I let him live. It's so useless. Jekyll, we lost the channel. 
How do I gain the picture? Khan, it does not matter. The captain is dead. Take Mr. Scott Buck next to the compression chamber. Is one young man standing guard by the chamber door. Marina Khan said to watch him closely. You may decide to cooperate. As he turns to look in the porthole, she ejects him. He passes out as she re- repressures the chamber, freeing Kirk, Marina. Captain, I saved your life. Now please don't kill him. The other bay door opens. Kirk waits and tackles Spock's guard. Scott, Buck, now purchases, purchases him. Buck, why to see you, Captain? Oh, please, Kirk. I'm very little pleased myself, situation. Spock, Khan is holding our staff to the, in the briefing room. His men have controlled the ship, Kirk. Our only chance of this true control circuit, though, though he's cut it off at the bridge. Buck, there is a relay junction down the corridor. Kirk, gas all the decks but this one. Brief of him. Armory, Khan, this is Armory. Armory, this is Khan, report. Rodidis, Ling, McPherson. Anyone report, gas starts coming out the ventilator grill. Khan flees. Scott hits a guard and gives the chase. Everyone else coughs. Corridor, Kirk, where's Khan? Kirk, I don't know. He got, he just got out. He just got as out. He got out as the, just as the gas. Kirk, Kirk here, Spock, anesthesia, gas in all sections. Set engineering. Someone just closed the line. Engineering. Khan is working controls and listening to intercom messages. Spock, Captain, the knowledge. Unable to flood engineering section. I suspect. Scott, this is Scott. Captain's headed for the engineering section. Our following case. Spock, negative. We must treat the vessel. While the anesthesia lasts, meet me in the armory. I'm blowing it f- f- clear first. Buck out. Kurt dashes out into engineering and straight into the calm. Who easily disarms him, then crushes the phaser. The alarm beats calm. I feel I understood your manuals. It's an overloading process. Your ship flares up like a exploding sun until within minutes. To fight, come and throw Kirk around with little effort. Come, I have five times your strength. You are no match for me. But Kirk gets himself a weapon and clubs Khan into subconscious. The stupid stopping the overload and saving ship. Captain Dog, start date three one four three point seven. Control the Enterprise. Great. I wished that my next decision was not more difficult. Kirk and his people were well, ways to put them in an the oration center. What do we do about McGivers? Briefing room. The senior staff of dress uniform again. You're a record type to gaze in the ready, Captain. Look. This is hearing is now in session. Under authority vested in me by Starfleet Command, I declare all charges and specifications. Manor have been dropped. McCoy, Jim, agreed. You have the authority. Kirk, Mrs. Bop, your heading takes us near Shelter Alpha Star System. Kirk, quite correct, Captain. Plate name five there is herbitable. They're a bit savage to all sense, somewhat hospitable. Khan, but no more than the strangers Botany Bay Conley was at the beginning. You men want to tame Condor, Mr. Khan? Do you, can you tame a world? Khan, have you ever read Milton, Captain? Kirk, yes, I understand. Lieutenant McWarrior Give Givers. Give a choice of court martial or court bring them there, then there. Khan goes into her eyes. It, it would be difficult. A struggle even to stay alive to find food. Marina, I go with him, sir. Khan, a superior woman, I take her. I've uh, got in something else I wanted. A uh, uh, world to win, an empire to build, Khan. Kirk, he's here in close. McCann and McGivers are escorting out. Spock, Scott, the shame to, uh, to good Scotman to admit it. I, I'm not up on what I'm Milton. Kirk, the statement Lucifer made when he fell into the pit, better rule in hell than serve in heaven, Spock. It would be interesting, Captain, to return to that world in a hundred years, to learn what crop has sprung from the seed you planted today. Yes, Mr. Spock, it would indeed.